AITA for lying to my son about his paternity? I am not OOP. OOP is you, trying to be good mom. She posted in our AITA. For those of you on mobile who don't want spoilers, here is your daily fun fact. Per the request of you IWCWCW cool. It's about snails. The largest land snail recorded weighed nearly 2 pounds. I found competing sources for its length. One said 12 inches. One said 15.5. It was a giant African land snail. Source 1 Source 2. Trigger warning. Lies. Implied domestic abuse. Less than. Mood spoiler. Sad but hopeful. Less than. Original post. October 22, 2022. My son's father just got out of prison and contacted me about seeing him. He was in jail awaiting trial when my son, Ken, was born, and I did not put his name on the birth certificate. When I got married, my husband adopted Ken. Ken is 16 now, and he had no idea his dad isn't his biological father. I was at a crossroads. But I decided that since Ken is almost an adult I had to be honest with him. My husband and I sat Ken down and told him the truth and that his bio father wanted to meet him. Ken was furious with me and didn't want to finish talking to us. He went to his friend's house. Ken didn't give me a chance to explain why I did what I did. I wanted Ken to have a happy normal childhood. Unburdened by the knowledge that his father is a criminal. I wanted him to have a healthy male role model. Ken has thrived and is doing great in school. He has friends and even mentors middle schoolers through a program at school. I think my deception helped him. Still, my son feels betrayed and currently won't answer my calls. My husband managed to get a text saying he is okay and to give him space. But that is all. Was I wrong for trying to protect him? Relevant comments. Someone asks what the bio father was in jail for. Robbery. Someone asks if bio dad was good to OOP before he went to prison. Not at all. OOP is voted YTA because she waited so long to tell her son his dad wasn't his bio father. Update post. October 26, 2022. I know most people here think I'm a terrible mother. So you probably don't want to hear from me again. However, if anyone out there is struggling with a similar situation to the one I had, maybe this can help you. My son and I sat down and had a long talk. He wanted to know everything about his biological father. I told him there are some things I would prefer not to tell him. But what if he insisted? He insisted. So I told him everything. It was very hard for him. And he had a lot of complicated emotions about it. He asked if his biological father knows where we live. He doesn't. All he has is my email. However, we aren't exactly hidden. And finding us is a possibility. I asked if he wanted me to respond to the email or ignore it. My son asked me to email his biological father and ask him to leave us alone. He asked if his bio father knows our current last name. And I said he shouldn't. He told me that he is hurt that I lied to him. He feels like he can't trust me as much as he once did. I told him that I was sorry. And that part of growing up is learning that parents aren't perfect and don't have all the answers. Always make the right choices. He had a long talk with my husband. He said he still considers my husband dad. And they hugged it out. All in all. I regret my decision. I think it would have been better to tell him at a younger age that his dad isn't his biological dad. Then he would have had time to adjust instead of finding everything out at once. As it is, this is a huge revelation to deal with at a time in his life where he's already got a lot on his shoulders. I'm always a strong believer in being honest with adopted children. But it's bloody hard when the bioparent is toxic or abusive. I hope Oop and Ken can go forward from here and rebuild the trust between them. What kind of robbery lead to a 16-year conviction?
This sounds like it must have been pretty violent to get this kind of sentence. I'm not sure I would ever know when the right time is to give this sort of news. I think a bit of grace and understanding should be given to all parties involved. Except for Bio Dad. Not everything in our life is pure black and white. I sincerely hope mom and son are able to repair their relationship. I feel bad for Oop. I don't think she's a bad parent. Just a bit misguided. She didn't have an idea going in of what the best way to handle adopted kids, complicated parent relationships. And it sounds like she was too busy putting out fires to look into it before it became urgent. I'm glad Oop was willing to own her mistake. Might be the main thing that keeps their relationship intact. It's very possible that in three years he will think she waited for the perfect time to tell him. Or he might not. I personally think 16 years old is the right time to tell him. However, she should have told him before his bio dad got out of prison so it's more baby steps and less pressure. He feels like he can't trust me as much as he once did. I'd consider getting family counseling the second this was said. I'd tell him the goal is to make sure this massive change in the family dynamic stays positive in the future. Why was she voted asshole? I think she did the best she could. I don't think it would be pleasant to grow up knowing your father is a criminal. Or feeling a detachment from your current father. A 16-year-old will take this more rationally than a child will. It'll be shocking however it happens. But at this age son will have a better understanding of his own emotions regarding this. As a child born out of rape, incest and human trafficking, I am very glad I knew my paternity instantly. I was born knowing this so there was no, and my world turned upside down. Moment. I knew that my self-worth came from me. Not my blood, DNA. For me. I'd say it's like if you were white and found out that your ancestors were slave owners. Would that make you question who you were and go into a frenzy of, oh no what if that makes me part? Slave owner too. Of course not. That's how I feel. Tell. Them. Young. Oop is voted YTA because she waited so long to tell her son his dad wasn't his bio father. I swear that sub is clown shoes. 100% clinical. Should have told him at age 8 years. 9 most. 11 days. I don't really fault up for waiting so long to tell him. It's not like a good opportunity came up previously. Sure. You can imagine a million ways she could have better told him sooner. But it's just as likely that Akashin would have gone exactly the same as this. Or maybe even worse. It's hard to know the right time for this. And arguably with this it's better doing it late rather than too early in the child's development. TBH it's pretty easy for me to say. Just tell the truth, when I'm not the one in Oop's shoes. We had no idea what was going on in her head when she made that decision. Only what she posted. NTA, you did it out of love and to protect him from a harmful influence. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.